Hello, welcome. This is Nosan, and I am one of the reference librarians here at GTU. And today, in this short uh, video tutorial, I am going to talk about Zotero. Uh, Zotero is a citation management system that will help you organize your project and also uh, help you with footnotes and bibliography for your papers and dissertations. And uh, Zotero is used by many of our uh, students and faculty. Uh, it is uh, freely available resources. And so you can just download from internet to your computer and you can start using it. So I will walk you through today how you can download and how you can um, use it for your paper. So here, let me share the screen with you. Here uh, in a website, you can uh, just type in the Zotero. So it will take you to the website. And then here you will have opportunity to download. Um, when you click download, you have two uh, uh, items that you should download in your system. One is Zotero 6 standalone. Uh, this year, uh, Zotero 6 is, uh, uh, just came out. Uh, it has uh, new uh, features uh, and a cool uh, tools that, that you can utilize, especially like working with PDF and uh, working with your iPad or iPhone. Um, but uh, the, this feature were, were not available before. And the other one that you need to download is a connector. So this is a connector will be extension in your uh, browser, uh, any kind of browser you're using like um, Chrome or uh, 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 like Safari and Firefox. And, uh, uh, you can download this too uh, as well. So when you download it, you will see uh, uh, the icon like this in your computer, uh, Zotero, and that's when you are uh, about ready to start using it. So I can, I can click it. So when you uh, first start using it, you will need to set up Zotero account uh, so that you will be able to uh, use it in different devices and different places. Even though you don't have your computer with you, you can use it at the library, uh, just using the cloud system that you can access to your account. So to do that, you go to here at edit, and then click on preference here. And then here, uh, you will see icon called sync. And here you will have a chance to create your account. And it will ask your email and uh, ask you to create a password. So please keep it safe uh, for future users as well. Whenever you, you use a different place and different devices, it will ask you to log into your account. And the second one is to uh, make sure that you, uh, you are using the style that you are required to use. So here you can select a style, Caribbean, uh, most of our students use here. And then uh, if you don't have here showing, you can also search more. You will have the SBL and all those other styles uh, available uh, when you click here, additional style. And, also, and then also you, uh, you can, you have to make sure that your Zotero so is in sync, uh, in connection, in embedded in your board document as well. So you will make sure that you install that in your Word document so that uh, you will be able to, to, to draw the information from the Zotero to your Word document. So this is ready to go. So here I, at the beginning, you can create uh, a new project for new, uh, new folder for new project. So let's do, uh, gospel.
and then you can create even sub uh, folder, John. Okay. So as I start writing paper on something uh, in John, I will uh, go to uh, get resources from uh, like from library catalogs or internet. So I will save it to here so that I can use it later uh, to cope and to cite. So let me take you to the website, to the GTU library. So I will be uh, working on creation. So here are some items that I will be useful for my project. So I will go see and okay, this sounds good. So I can uh, click on it and then I save this item to Zotero. So this uh, record will go in the John folder here. Then I can go to, I can also uh, save uh, journal articles. This. So it will take me to the uh, database that uh, we have subscription to. Uh, this one happened to be ETLA, uh, EBSCO platform. So here you will see the icon up there in the browser. Uh, that's mean I can save this information to uh, Zotero. Not only the information, but also uh, the PDF documents that's come with it. Now I save it to John. So let's look, see one more. So that we can test it out here. Oh, this is different languages. Do that too. All right, so now we are ready to work on. So now I will open the Word document. And in the Word document, you will see um, this Zotero icon here again. Um, make sure that you see that if you don't, you need to uh, reinstall it again or restart your computer. Um, so here, as I am working on this paper, here is, uh, I'm going to cite here. So I just click on Zotero and get inside. So it will ask uh, what kind of style that I use as to Arabian is good. Here I am going to. So creation. Renewal in the Gospel of John. It's good. So it's cited. So I want to create an imagery again. I want to cite this one. So, again. so here I will cite. This is uh, another source that we save in the Zotero. So it will let me do site, footnote citation. 
So at the end of paper, you can also create bibliography using Zotero. So at the end, when you're ready to do that, just click on this. Here you go. So you already created bibliography. Okay. So this is how you uh, uh, size and create bibliography. And, and another cool options that you can play with, you can use with Zotero is to um, with the PDF document here, this PDF document that we have downloaded, let me turn it on, open it up. So suppose you want to uh, code that in this paper, this part of uh, this article, so you can uh, select section, And it's also already page number. And then here on your right side, you can add notes for this one, especially. So you can just on the right side, in this plus icon, add items, note from a notation. This I noted it right here on the left. And so here, in this paragraph is safe here. It's ready to be cited and code in my paper. So let me minimize it and here, let's cite it here. So I will click on add no. So here it will show the last uh, annotation that I made. So I can just click it. Or if you cannot find it, just type it in the author names or uh, the title of the articles or book, something like that. So here you go. So here, uh, that notes is already uh, in the Word documents. And also here you will see uh, the necessary uh, footnotes. So this is how a new updated uh, features that you can see in the uh, uh, Zotero 6. So, and not only this, you can also uh, uh, annotate uh, images. Here, if you click here, then you can annotate this image as well. Okay. So here, image is also ready to go. So you can just walk straight from Zotero uh, with any PDF document you have, annotate them, code them, and, you know, uh, copy them, and all those things that you can do as well. So now I am going to uh, show you with another new feature that, uh, uh, that is available uh, with, I am going to share my Android uh, iPad screen with you so that you can see how easy it is that you can also walk um, Zotero from your iPad. Here in your iPad, you can just go to your app store. And then you can just uh, type it in Zotero and you can download it. And then uh, you will have your Zotero here. So again, you will need to use your sign in login ID uh, for the Zotero uh, to also work on your iPad. So when you see that, uh, 
everything that you have saved and uh, work on in different devices will be here. So you are ready to go. So here, uh, the one that we've been working on, so uh, John Gospel is already in here. So if you want to save and you want to um, uh, cite somewhere, you can just click here and then it will say cite, copy citation or copy bibliography, you will see here. So let's say citation. And then you, you can um, just open up a water page. Uh, and then you can enter information here. So here, let me go back again to here. So it's a citation, I would like to copy it. And then I can go back to my board. And then here I can paste. So here, so it is uh, uh, not as uh, convenient as the, um, your desktop or personal computer, but you can kind of work with this and you can open it up. Uh, um, a PDF and you can also walk the same thing like uh, you can annotate right here. And the uh, same time as I we you can export to a different places that you need as well for this annotation. So this uh, uh, two things, we're working with PDF and uh, uh, working with your Android devices is a new feature for uh, Zotero 6. So just let us know and stop by at Reference Desk. And also we are gonna have a workshop, in-person workshop, uh, so you can attend. And, and just let us know, chat us and email us if you need any help with using Zotero. Enjoy.